Hola, hola, hola! Hello, beautiful planner babes! Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And I am super late on setting up my fitness planner this week. It's just one of those weeks. But I wanted to come on here and plan out um, the rest of the week. Um, I need to set up my fitness program. So I'm here with my Holistic Health Franken Planner. This is my classic catch-all multi-planner, multiverse. This is the multiverse for me. Just set this up with this gorgeous Winnie the Pooh cover and the bright yellow expander discs. But we're going to switch to my fitness section here. I'll use a wrong wrong um, divider to divide out my fitness section. And something that I've been playing around with um, lately is actually taking another old divider. Both of these are from an old fitness planner from wrong wrong. And I hold on to the dividers that I really like from all of my planners, not just my fitness planners, but I hold on to the dividers and I craftily made this double-sided um, divider using another wrong wrong um, fitness divider and I think I'm gonna go ahead and be doing this for a lot of different dividers because I love the double-sided divider. Um, this is my fitness section. I just have some filler paper there and um, the beginning of April. Or right, this is the April divider here. I'm using the tie-dye fitness planner. Love that thing. Um, and for my monthly fitness, I've actually been using this. I've actually been using this. I've been using this as like a record keeper. Um, I want to eventually get to the point where I plan out the entire month. Um, and then I go ahead and use that as like a pre-plan for the weekly but I haven't really gotten around to it. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of keeping track of all of my workouts just with a mild liners and a pen. This is the first week of April. <laughs> I was in Seattle this week, nothing happened. Um, this was the second week of April, slowly getting back into it. It seems like I did a lot here, but honestly, I just kept track of my Fitbit stats, my hydration, I walked quite a bit, and I stretched a few times. And that was it. And then this was last week. And I got more into fitness this week. Not as much as I wanted to. Um, this was the last fitness plan with me that's on my channel right now. And I had a very ambitious workout program. Some of it was met, some of it was not met, but I'm feeling like I am progressing. I feel like I am increasing the times I work out, the stamina I have, the energy I have, the intensity of the workouts are slowly but surely progressing. Not as much as I had originally planned in this workout, but let's go through it and then I'm going to go ahead and get to the next week. And it's currently Thursday. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you an idea of how late sometimes I sit at my fitness planner. Um, usually I try to do it Sunday or Monday, sometimes Tuesday it'll happen. This is the latest I've ever gone. Um, well, no, that's a lie. Sometimes I don't even, I'm not even in my fitness planner in the week. Um, but Thursday is pretty late for me, but it happens. Anyways, so just to quickly recap how last week went, I had this ambitious goal of running, um, every single day and, Maybe that is why I ended up with a quadriceps injury. That's the muscle in front of your thigh. The back of your thigh is hamstring. The front of your thigh is the quadriceps. And I got an injury. I was injured. I injured myself. I really noticed the injury on Friday. So I did manage to get some workouts in and some running in. But Saturday and Sunday, I was out out of commission for running and honestly anything leg involved and i was a little bit surprised because honestly i didn't think i was running too much like monday i ran half a mile because i just didn't have time so this half mile was running from where i parked my car to my office building tuesday i ran 1.3 miles Wednesday, I ran 1.9 miles, which was, you know, I was happy about that. I was progressing. Thursday, I ran 1.42 miles. Again, I didn't really have a lot of time Thursday, so I didn't run as much as I wanted to. And then Friday, I ran 2.31 miles. And then maybe around the two mile mark, I really started to notice 
pain in my right knee and I pushed through it. I completed the run, but in that last third of a mile, I could definitely feel like my knee, my leg were not happy. They were not happy and I was going to be able to finish the run, but I was, I did not see myself pushing past the pain. Sometimes I feel like you can push past certain discomforts and then sometimes it just gets worse. And this was one of these cases where it just got worse. What else was going on here? Um, Monday I walked, Tuesday I walked, Tuesday I did a nice 15 minute leg stretch. And then Wednesday I ran and then I did a 15 minute ab workout. I was very happy about that. This is the first time I've done abs in maybe a month. So I'm very happy I got into that. And then Thursday and Friday, I did not do my booty or my upper body workout. I did run, but I didn't do these workouts. I just didn't have time. Ugh, so those fell by the wayside. And so if you remember from last fitness plan with me, I set up a little happy workout reward program where every workout um, program that I completed successfully on a given day, if I completed all the workouts I said I was going to do for a given day during the fitness plan with me, then I gave myself one point and each point equals a dollar that I can then spend on happy planner product. That is the motivation reward system I'm working under right now. I think it's a lot of fun. So any given week, I can earn up to seven points. So I earned three points because I hit my goals Monday through Wednesday. And honestly, Monday was a little bit of a freebie for me. Um, I hit my goals Monday through Wednesday, but then Thursday and Friday, I didn't do the booty or the upper body workouts. So I can't give myself those goals. And then Saturday, or I can't give myself those points. And then Saturday and Sunday, I was injured. I couldn't run. So there was no way I was going to be running. I did end up doing the 15 minute leg stretch on Saturday. I had set it for Sunday, but because my knee was injured, I really wanted to stretch it out, massage it. And so on Saturday, I did this 15 minute leg stretch. Um, and on, on Saturday, I did not do this full body thing. Again, I was injured, but also um, I was at a conference Friday through Sunday and I was completely like packed, jam packed, schedule was jam packed. Uh, I couldn't really find the a place. I couldn't really find anywhere, any time to do that. So full body didn't happen. Um, I walked on Sunday and I was supposed to do this foam roller session on Sunday. It didn't happen. Again, I was at a conference. I didn't get home until late. And then the conference was um, about two hours and a half away from where I currently live. So I drove there and then on my drive back, um, a, a drive was supposed to be only two hours long. It actually took four hours because there was a crazy accident on the freeway that um, I was, you know, only 20 minutes from home at that point. And it took me an hour um, and a half to get home when it should have taken me 20 minutes because there was like a horrendous accident on the freeway. So I got home, I was exhausted. I didn't do this foam roller session, but I did do it on Monday. So that one rolled over. And then in terms of Fitbit stats, I did hit my 10K um, step goal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. I was 13,000, 13,000, 8,000, 15,000, 16,000, 6,000, 8,000. So um, I'm really trying to get up into that 10K range every single day. So hopefully we'll, we'll be better in this week. Anyway, um, I am going to set up this week and I know I said it's Thursday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, complete in all of my workouts that I've done Monday through Thursday that I've actually already kind of laid out. Um, I wrote down all the stats already on these stickers. These are all the workouts I did um, Monday through Wednesday. And then I'm going to plan for today, Thursday, and then for the rest of the week as well, which is Friday through Sunday, the last day of April. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. <clears throat> so I think the first thing I'm going to do is lay down all of these stickers. Oh, and first I'm going to put down some washi tape there at the bottom to layer these stickers with. I love doing that. I always say this and I'm going to say it again, but my fitness plan with me's are very straightforward and honestly a little bit boring probably. 
because I follow the same format pretty much every week. It's what works for me. I'm not really trying to be super creative or inventive in this fitness planner because honestly, it's more of a functional planner for me. It's more of um, a motivational space for me or a journaling space for me. I'm not really worried about um, making this fitness planner look cute. What matters to me is that I complete the workout. I like the fitness planner can be as cute as we make it, but if you don't do the workout, then there's really no point in how cute it looks. I think it does look cute. I mean, with all the stickers and the washi tape, um, even with minimal effort, you can make a spread look super, super cute. I laid down my Fitbit stat stickers here. I already completed them. Monday, I did 13,000 steps, burned 2,000 calories. Tuesday, I did 8,000 steps, almost 9,000, um, burned 1,800 calories. And then Wednesday, I'm very proud of myself. I did 17 and a half thousand steps, almost 18,000 steps, and I burned 2,200 calories. Um, I walked over seven miles th this day. Um, I had a lot of like walking and running this day. Um, oh, and uh, I should say that my knee is feeling okay at this point. Um, not great. It's not feeling great. Yesterday I went on a run. <sighs> Let me peel off the sticker here. Um, I went on a run on Wednesday. You know, I kind of want to like put something behind it, like maybe some florals up here. Okay, I don't know where my other floral um, sticker book went, the one that's a little bit brighter. This one I feel is a little bit more muted. Uh, I guess it has some bright florals in here. Let's see. Yeah, I just have some bright florals. Mm, okay, I don't want to spend too much time on the decoration because I said, like I said, uh, it really isn't the most important part for me here. But I've definitely noticed that I have some like blank space kind of in this section right here um, because these stickers are so small. So maybe if I put the run sticker on top of it like so. So Wednesday I ran uh, 1.79 miles and near the end like 1.6, 1.5 range, I definitely started feeling my knee getting weaker and weaker and starting to kind of start to complain. And <clears throat> this is so much better than on a Monday. Um, well, actually on Sunday. On Sunday, I tried running. Um, and I guess I could put like half a mile here. I ran half a mile on Sunday. <clears throat> but i could i stopped like at half a mile a half a mile my knee would not would not continue <clears throat> and so and i tried running again on monday and i also ran another half mile and actually this sticker right here is this um attempt i actually ran a half a mile from where i parked my car to the gym i ran to the gym and that was half a mile and then i got to the gym and i just could not run anymore like thankfully i got to the gym um and i didn't push myself anymore but half a mile seemed to be like the stopping point for me and so i actually tried running again after the gym and i i could not i i couldn't even run like a, a quarter of a mile so this is why um i have 0 0.76 here because i ran half a mile and then i ran 0.26 miles and then i stopped uh, I thought it would be better after the gym because I actually spent like 30 minutes at the gym just foam rolling the shit out of my knee because it was, it just needed to be foam rolled. And I definitely felt so much better after that foam roll. And let me grab a little workout sticker here. Um, I'm going to put it right here. So this was the foam rolling session and I'm going kind of completely all over the place with this. But that's all right. Let's see. There we go. Full rolled the shit out of my right knee. Felt so good. And what's crazy is that I didn't foam roll my knee. I foam rolled all the muscles surrounding to and connecting my knee, and which was causing pain to be felt in my knee. I think honestly, that's one of the biggest surprises I have had since, you know, really beginning my fitness journey and particularly my running journey, is that 
um, knee injuries for me are often a matter of really tense, strained muscles in my thigh. And usually I have it in my hamstrings. The most common injury I've gotten is the, um, is the side of my knee. And that one is usually for me a hamstring injury. Um, this was actually the first time I had an, uh, the, the pain in the back of my knee in particular. And so I was doing a lot of research trying to figure out what muscles are strained and tense that manifests as back of the knee injury. And there was a lot out there, but something I identified was that that's, um, a, I guess, a common symptom of, of quad injuries. And then something else that uh, clued me into that it was a quad injury was that I was actually driving up to um, campus to to work and I noticed that kind of when I shifted my hip and my leg kind of in an inward movement while I was sitting down um, I noticed kind of like a a ping of discomfort and pain kind of originating in my outward muscles and so that clued me in that it was also like a, a quad injury or at least the muscles that are like on the front and the side of the leg and when i got to the gym and i started foam rolling my right leg i could definitely feel that there was deep tissue pain and discomfort and tension in the front of my leg and the side of my leg and so i foam rolled like crazy like half an hour i was foam rolling and i felt so much better and looser after that and tuesday um i actually didn't do anything on tuesday i didn't really work i think i walked once or that must have been monday i forget when i walked was it monday or i think it was monday I'm going to put it down on Monday. I walked on Monday as well. I think I walked the dogs. And then Tuesday, I actually ran. I ran um, just a, a, a mile. And I didn't want to push it past that. So I ran a mile. And I felt so much better. Like, I didn't feel like my knee was hurting. It felt fine. And it seems like, you know, right now I can run anything up to like 1.8 miles. But I think getting up to 1.8, um, past 1.8 is a little bit pushing it too far maybe today i'll try running again and seeing if i can if i can do more um i'll foam roll um and stretch before i go out but uh, i'm gonna try to keep on pushing it and seeing how far i can run um and how quickly my knee is healing oh and then wednesday i also walked i actually walked three times on wednesday for a total time of 79 minutes and 345 calories i walked the dogs um, in the morning and in the evening and then in the middle of the day i took my car to get its oil changed and uh, while i was waiting for the oil change to finish i walked to a nearby store and that was like 39 minutes Oh, and then yesterday on Wednesday, I also did my 15 minute leg stretch. That felt really good. So let me peel this one. I'll put it right here. So that's everything I have done Monday through Wednesday. And then now to set up Thursday through Sunday. So first off, I'm going to put down my Fitbit stat stickers. So let me do that real quick. Oh, and I forgot that yesterday, Wednesday, I did a 10-minute ab workout, which was short and spicy, but really good. I'm really starting to feel my core tighten and my muscles um, get stronger in that region. And I can see it in my physique, which I love. So very happy about that. And things are getting a little bit noisy on my end. So I think I'm going to do a voiceover for the second half of this. And maybe that will help speed things up here. So I started off by getting all of my stickers in order, kind of organizing everything I needed. I grabbed the last um, of that of those clear flower stickers from the um, sheet that I was using previously and just sprinkled them around the page, mostly concentrating them at the top there. Um, I just really like layering them underneath my running tracker stickers. And at this point, I was debating whether I wanted to push myself to run every single day. Um, this is something that I'm trying to be consistent with. And I ended up um, ultimately deciding to run um, 
today, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I thought about running on Sunday, and you could see my、um, internal struggle there on the in the screen. And I just decided that、um, I I would give myself a break on Sunday and instead、uh, go hiking. So in a second here, I'm gonna pull out one of my hiking stickers.、Um, I also decided to、uh, stretch, do a leg stretch、um, on Friday, my beloved 15 minute leg stretch,、um, my Mad Fit stretch to get your front splits. I decided to do that on Friday, and I decided on Sunday I'll 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 go hiking. This is something I want to get back into the habit of. I Used to hike、um, on the weekends every single weekend, and I feel like I've gotten away from that. And so I really want to hike on Sunday, and、um, it is my birthday on Saturday, and so I kind of wanted to do a little birthday hike, you know, get back into it. And then Thursday, I'm gonna do arms. I'm gonna do an arm workout.、Um, hopefully, it's gonna be at least 15 minutes long, maybe longer. Friday, I decided to do an abs workout.、Um, I really want to work out my core. It's probably the body part that I am the least、um, motivated to work out. I could do legs all day, but abs and arms have definitely always been a struggle for me. And then on Saturday, I decided to do a full body workout. Um, I'll, I've just left that orange box there、um, to mark that out. I should have written full body on it, but I just didn't. And then on the side here, I set up two habit trackers with my mild liners and pens and my clean color dot markers.、Um, they kind of turned out a little wonky, and I was debating、um, just、uh, getting rid of them, like covering them up with a sticker and and doing them again. But I just honestly left it like that because I definitely want to encourage myself. To be okay with imperfection, and I set up my little、um, happy rewards tracker at, at underneath my habit trackers, and then I moved on to the monthly page because I definitely want to be using this section more and tracking all of my workouts that I complete in a month. And how I'm using this section is I just color code. Um, my mild liners to different types of workouts. So red is running, yellows are walking, green is core and abs, pink is stretching, purple is foam rolling, and so on and so forth. And I just decided to sprinkle some stickers here and there to make it cute. And that's it. I think we're done here.、Um, good luck with your fitness programs this week. It's never too late to start. Don't forget to stretch. Stay hydrated, and you got this. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, happy planning, and happy trails. Bye.